Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and we are back in Lumbar Tycoon 2. Last time we left off, I was uh, fixing up the, um, what is it, the logic, picking up the laboratory, which is done. And now I want to work on this over here. Oh, goodness. Hold on. I need one of these. Jump. Oh, give me that. All right. We're going to definitely need a door because we've got something stuck over here. Somebody crashed a car. It's probably me, but that's okay. That's... We're gonna we're gonna have to rotate, a turn, a rotate, turn, like that. Uh, maybe, maybe. Is that how it goes? Is that how it should go? Maybe. <clears throat> Anyhow, I'm gonna use the power of awesome. To, oh, maybe not. <laughs> Hold on. Ah, stop. Just open the door. There we go. Okay. Uh, move. We're gonna do this again, but we're gonna go. Um, what is uh, turn, turn? that no that didn't work what <clears throat> well what I wanted to work on was um, these bins over here so I've got a lot of bins for gold wood and glow wood and stuff like that but they're filled up mixed up and all kinds of stuff and I've got wood all over my base so that's what I plan on doing tonight if I can get this thing to move come on you please move that's not working at all. All right, move. Hold on, maybe if I, hold on, rotate. Oh, here, let's do this. Um, let's just move and jump into the truck. Uh-oh, uh-oh, now I'm stuck. No, no. There we go, there we go. What if I just move this wall right here? Move, and then I'd like jump in the truck or something. Does it see the wall that's there? I wonder. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that's that's kind of cool. Um, I'm not going to be able to open the doors or anything while... Come on. B. Hmm. Well. There's your problem right there. Let's try. Uh, let's try a different technique. Let's open and close the tailgate. See if we can't get it to pull itself off of there. Maybe. Hold on. Open. Come on. Come on. Just flip for me. Flip, please. And I don't think I've got the spawn pad to this. This is somebody else's doing. Um, Tell you what, let's do this. Let's move you over here, and then let's move. Uh, what's what's still holding it up? Uh, is this one holding it up? That one there. Move you over here. Is there something else holding it? Is that post holding it up? I can't. I can't even right now. Maybe I can odd. <laughs> I can odd, but not even. Uh, <clears throat> What about this one? Man, I'm just tearing up this base left and right, aren't I? Really? Okay, if I move this one, then it's got to be something else. Rotate. Really? Oh, oh it's the door that I left behind. <sighs> okay, 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 fine. Can I, can I prop it under here now? Yes. Come on. Ah, there we go. Okay, now we're down. Oh, now I'm stuck. Oh, just don't want 50 minutes of all of this. Uh, wait, how long have we been? <clears throat> Four minutes. Okay, Google. Start a timer for 11 minutes. Google? Hello? Wait, did it did it do it? It didn't respond to me. <gasps> there we go. Ten minutes and fifty-five seconds. So yeah, it did it did start the timer, but it didn't do its response. I don't like it when she doesn't talk to me. Come on. Come on. If this is your first episode that you're watching, normally I do thirty minute episodes. These are the finisher episodes to try and get my base cleaned up and get things sorted out and done. As you can see, 
very much progress, lots of progress has been made on the base. I'm just kidding. It's really slow, actually. Can we shut these doors? Okay, how about the door? Can we shut the door? Can't even close the doors. They're stuck. But that one, no, that one's stuck too. All right, where's the, where's the other door? Okay, give me, I had another door over here. Let's go grab that door. <laughs> Jump. Come on. No, oh, oh, oh. Come here. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give Can I even? <laughs> I can't reach it. <laughs> Hold on. What if I do that? <laughs> Alright. Uh, here. Let's move this forward. And I'll stand on the, the roof of this. Come here. That should give me enough room. There we are. All right. Drop that down like that. Um, let's see. Is this door closed? This is this is a closed door. That's an open door. Closed door. Okay, that's closed. So move. We're going to get it on its rotate, rotate, turn, turn like that. Okay, and then we're gonna open it. There we go. Now we're all set. Now we can move things. A little bit of lag there. Lag spike. That's okay. Oh, come on, come on. Get out, get out, get out, get out. And go. That did not do anything. Yeah, it did, actually. Come on. Get up in there. Please. Oh, yes! Get out of there! Push. I did not do it. Move. Push. Yes, yes, yes! <gasps> Yay! There we go. And I landed it. Nice. But because we don't have the spawn pad, I don't want that on my base. So we're just going to go ahead and move this stuff out the way real quick. Good, good, good. Okay, oh, oh, are you stuck in the ground? No, you are not. Good, okay. Now we need to put all this stuff back. Oh, look at the little piece right there, the little brownie. It's a heath bar. I'm gonna keep that. All right, uh, <laughs> move. And placed like that. And then this one needs to go move. Uh, turn like that. Good. This one needs to go in the same spot over here. And we've got two more walls. Is that right? Uh, turn. Wait, is it on the inside or the outside? It's on the inside. We're good. We're good. And then move. Rotate, rotate. Golden. Okay, so that's now fixed. Get back in there, dude. Uh, wait, where's the end times bin? Which one is the end times bin? That's glow wood. So let's look for all glow wood, and we're just going to pick up as much glow as possible. And if it fills up, I'm going to get rid of the rest off of the base because I only need a bin full of um, of wood. So. If there's too much, or if you guys bring like huge chunks, like, like I, I really appreciate it, but there's no need for it. Like I don't, I don't have a, I appreciate it. I really do. But like this, I'm, I don't know if I'm ever gonna use that much yellow wood. Um, I'm gonna have to build something out of yellow to make up for it. Oh, I should do Pac-Man. I should totally do Pac-Man. Um, if you think I should do a Pac-Man pixel art, um, put that in the comments down below. Hashtag Pac-Man. I think I should. I totally think I should. Oh man, that is filling up really quick. And I really like that the blue wood is very distinguishable. Like I can, I can pick that out in a crowd. Whoa, that, I thought that was a huge piece and then I jumped and it's like, nope, just a little one. All right, grab this one over here. Whoa, sorry. And jump. Do we have any, 
blue hidden in the other bins. No, we do not. Okay. Blue wood. We've got five minutes code. Oh my goodness. This is moving so quick. Like I said, these aren't my normal episodes, and I would normally have a lot more time to like play and discuss and do things and go public, but I gotta get these done. If you're watching this right now, I'm probably still on vacation. Uh, in the exception that this is the last day. If this is the last day, oh my gosh. That means I should be back and working on tomorrow's video. Or if I miscalculated, which sometimes I do, um, then I'm going to be on for tomorrow. Oh man, that would be so sweet if I had an extra video in there. Extra day to not record. Extra day to just sit and relax on vaca vacation. As some of you might say, I'm on holiday. And I know you don't speak like that, but I mean, that's the best accent I can do. Unless I make it like an old man, and then it becomes glorious. <laughs> By the way, if you need any voice acting for your uh, games or videos, just let me know in the comments down below. <clears throat> if you see anybody that's asking for voice acting, I'm available. Not all the time, but I'm I'm pretty quick to respond to people. <laughs> see what I did there? A little cross promotion inside a video. That's amazing. Only a true fan would have known that one. Just kidding. Lots of people make the presumption of what a true fan is. And I don't want you guys to do that. Like, every single one of you is an individual, individual person with your individual ideas and your individual thoughts, likes, wants. And not a single one of you is the same. Everybody is different. Now, you might have some similarities to your likes and stuff like that, but that's not what makes a fan. A fan is somebody that likes watching my content, that likes seeing the things that I do. That's a fan. So, if you like my content, if you like what I do, absolutely, you are a fan. Whether you're my biggest fan, which is gets claimed by everybody, or whether you're, um, you know, just a casual person that stops by and watches every once in a while that is not what matters what matters is that you liked my content and I, I like you for that I like you for being unique and I like you for being who you are not because of somebody you're being told to be so thank you for that you guys are amazing I, I read your comments like all the time I don't respond to all of them anymore <clears throat> probably because I'm on vacation but when I do, like whenever I'm going through there, it's just amazing to see the different dynamics that you guys have. I, I really enjoy it. Um, of course, one of the things I also like doing is um, people watching, going out to the mall and just watching the different people that are out there. And I love it. I, it, I know it's, it's weird, but like if you're in an airport, if you ever get the chance to see an international airport, those are amazing because not only do you get the different people and their different styles, you get different cultures and languages and just amazing to watch everyone. Like, I'm sorry, I love the world. Um, the person or the individual, and people as a whole can be mean, s selfish, crude but in in that moment where they don't realize that they're in a it, they're like I don't know how to explain it because somebody who's being mean there's a situation that they're in you know but when that mean person is not in that environment or that particular spot in life or um, I don't know how to explain it when somebody is for example it would be like watching your favorite youtuber go to the mall and buy some shoes like outside that element of I'm a youtuber making videos stuff you know 
Like, what's it? What does Creek look like whenever he's just going to McDonald's to to get a cheeseburger? You know? Does he wear all the same stuff that he normally wears on his videos? Does he talk in the same manner? Does he does he do his hair the same way? Just an example, not to call out Creek, but like. You know, what does he act like when he's hanging out with his friends and with his family? Is he different? You know, seeing that aspect of people. Really, really is fun. So, anyhow, just a thought. Alright, we got some awesome spook wood over here, dude. <gasps> no! I barely touched this thing! Ah! Uh. Alright. Well... If this is the last episode of the finishers episode, then that was a really bad one because I spent most of the time trying to get a truck to move. Eh. But you see all the different projects that I have around my base. You see how much of a mess it is and how much I try and get done. Um, but yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end. But it's up to you if you want to or not. You know, if you want to subscribe, excellent. If not, it's totally understandable. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I just said that. I just said that code. You're so tired. You've been doing these 15-minute these episodes for so long. All right. Well, even though this is the last episode of the series, this is going to be the first day of my vacation. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. Outro.